Hi, I'm Alex and this is Pucks and Paperbacks. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my June TBR and all of the things that are going to be happening on my channel and on my Patreon in June. So let's get started. Because you're here on my channel, let's talk about some of the content you can expect. I've been trying to post Tuesday, Thursdays and I also am here to announce, I guess, a little bit that my podcast is over. I've taken a hiatus from it and honestly I was just really stressed out by it because I had to upload to this channel and edit and I also have a job. So for the time being I am taking a hiatus from the podcast. I really enjoyed what I made over there but it was honestly just too time consuming and stressful. So since that realization my podcast Rita Rambles is now on a hiatus but I do have a really good episode about where to find queer books so if you're looking for that I'll have that episode linked down below. It is with Beck from Mooney Reads who I really enjoy. We had a really good conversation so I will link that down below. But here on the channel I have been trying to post Tuesday Thursdays so if everything goes according to plan I am going to post queer book recommendations every Tuesday starting June 7th. I am so excited so if you're interested in that feel free to hit subscribe and put on my post notifications so you don't miss out. I'm very excited about that. I have everything already planned for the book recommendations you're going to be getting and if you want some book recommendations now I'll have a playlist down below. On my channel I mostly recommend queer books and so I don't really need to explicitly post it in the title unless every book is queer but if you're on my channel you're going to be getting queer books recommended to you in any aspect. I just posted one about mental health representation so you can go and watch that. I'll have it linked up above. So that is my little announcement that I wanted to share with you for content but on my Patreon I am going to be hosting another personalized book recommendations. Every few months I do this special offer where if you sign up or are an existing patron during the month of June you will receive a personalized book recommendation from me. Now how it works is when you sign up there will be a message giving you a survey. So you just fill out the survey and at the end of the month I will email you a book recommendation or two. It depends what you give me. Sometimes I give you options but usually it's just one and I've had a lot of fun doing it. I just love being like a book matchmaker and I've gotten a lot of good feedback from my patrons who have used this and they found some of their favorite books so I'm excited to do it again. So if you're interested in that my Patreon link is always down below. You can pledge one dollar and you receive a personal personalized book recommendation from me. There's also a lot of things on my Patreon that you'll get access to. For instance you'll have your name on my end screen at the end of every video I post and I also have a bi-monthly book club over there where we read LGBTQ plus books every other month and we're reading the rainbow. So every other month is a different color of the rainbow. This month is yellow and we are reading If It Makes You Happy by Clara Kahn. I am so excited to read this because it has mixed reviews but also because I haven't read from this author before and it talks about queer platonic relationships and it has a major side character who is aromantic. So I'm really excited to read this. I also do a monthly watch party in Discord. The Discord is Patreon only and my patrons and I just talk with each other and I have a lot of fun over there because I get to actually interact with the people who support my content and are watching me and it's really just fun to meet the people who comment and support me. I really enjoy it over there and we have a monthly watch party. This month we'll be watching a queer movie and I'm also going to be doing a booktube trivia night. So if you're new here I do a series on my channel called Blank Guesses Booktube Words and so I'm hosting it live on my Patreon. It's not going to be for a video or anything it's just for fun and I wanted to do it. So if any of that sounds interesting to you and you have the means I would really appreciate if you went over to my Patreon and joined us. And if you can't I totally understand. I appreciate your support by watching my videos and giving this video a thumbs up and just supporting my content in general. Now I think that's all for the announcements. Let's get to my June TBR. Now I'm not doing a TBR game this month but the title does say Bingo Controls My TBR because it is. I am participating in the Queer Lit Readathon, the Queer Romance Readathon which I'm a co-host for 
and Desertathon, which does not have a bingo board, but those are my top three readathons that I'm going to be participating in this month. And I am excited. I love bingo boards and so I'm really excited to participate. All of the information is down below if you want to check any of these readathons out. I'm going to go in order of the dates that the readathons start. So let's start with Dessertathon. I found this readathon in my YouTube recommended and it was just calling to me. I am a big baker. I love to bake. I love reading books about baking. I love it all. And so when I saw this readathon, I knew I had to participate. I found it on Break Even Book channel but I'll link all the other hosts down below. There are recipes for each team and there are prompts that correlate with the ingredients in your recipe if that makes sense. So I'm going to be on cozy cookies and our recipe is chocolate chip cookies and I'm excited. Maybe I'll make some if it's not too hot. It includes butter, sugar, vanilla, eggs, flour, salt, and chocolate chips. The first challenge is Butter, a book that keeps sliding off your TBR and I'm going to be reading Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers because I just keep saying I'm going to read this and then I never get to it. <laughs> Next is Sugar and that is to read a feel-good book and honestly I don't have one. I am just going to add this once I actually read a book that I feel is feel good. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to add but I feel like one of my queer romance readathon books will be good for this one. Next is Vanilla, a book you keep saying you'll read. For this, I will be reading Ophelia After All by Raquel Marie. I have been wanting to read this and I didn't want to wait till June, but it has just kind of happened that way where I haven't had time to fit it into any of my TBRs over the last couple months. So I really want to get to this one because I it's my most anticipated release and I really want to get to it. Next is Eggs, part of a series, and I am going to be choosing the group book for the Queer Romance Readathon. It is Drag Me Up by RM Virtues. This is a queer Persephone's and Hades retelling. You will learn more if you watch my announcement video. This is by a Black trans indigenous disabled author and I am really excited to read this because it's definitely out of my comfort zone. I don't really know much about mythology nor do I think I've ever read a book that is a retelling of Persephone's or just any mythology. Next is Flower and that is to read a book in your favorite genre and I'm trying to add some baking books to this TBR and so I have chosen The Heartbreak Bakery by A.R. Capetta. This is a book about an agender main character Sid and Sid works at a bakery and Sid was just broken up with and so I'm really excited to read this. It's one of my most anticipated releases and I just thought it was perfect for this readathon. Next is Salt and this is to read a tearjerker and I really had to do some research for this because I wasn't sure what was considered a tearjerker or a book that would make me cry and so I have chosen The Stars and Blackness Between Them by Juanda Petrus. I can't wait to read this because I know it's a really beloved book and I might need a good cry in the middle of Pride Month so I love reading some dark and hard-hitting books in between my fluffy books so I'm really excited to read this one. Last is Chocolate Chips and that is to read Guilty Pleasure which is romance. For this and the queer romance readathon I've chosen Devon and Chris Plan a Wedding by Gentia C. Higgins. The way I planned my TBR this month actually allowed me to double up on multiple of the readathons I'll be doing. So those are some of the books I want to read for Dessertathon but I just think this is a fun readathon and I wanted to add it in because I think it's fun and I love reading books about baking so I thought that would be a fun way to incorporate my reading tastes into a readathon. The dessertathon is going to be held throughout the whole month of June which I really appreciate but next is the queer lit readathon which is probably what you're here for. <laughs> this is going to be held from June 5th to the 11th. I will be doing a reading vlog which I always do and I'm so excited. There's a bingo board. This is one of my favorite readathons so if you haven't heard about it it was created by Kathy Tridhart and Rogan Shannon. The guest host this round is going to be Beck from Monia Reads who I love. 
and I'm really excited because I just love this readathon. I was a co-host back in December and it's a lot of fun. So here are my picks for the bingo board. For Indigenous main character, I'm hoping to read A Lots Away by Dorothy Little Badger, which also helps complete the challenge to read a A slash Arrow main character. Next for nonfiction, I have a graphic novel, Welcome to St. Hell, My Trans Team Misadventure by Lewis Hancock. It comes out June 7th and I was sent a copy from the publisher Scholastic. So thank you so much to them for sending me a copy. This is a graphic memoir about Lewis's time in high school and just what he would have liked to say to his younger self. I love graphic memoirs and I'm really excited to read this. I will be reading it in my queer graphic novels vlog so I won't talk about it too much in my queer lit readathon vlog but I'm excited to read it. Next for graphic novel and LGBTQ plus history, I'll be reading another graphic novel which is Love is Love and this is a anthology graphic novel about the Pulse shooting and that is a part of LGBTQ plus history. This was one of the recommendations in my community post when I asked you what books I should read for the queer graphic novel vlog and this was one of them. So I thought it was perfect to add for the readathon since it is a part of LGBTQ plus history. Next is queer sports and you know I was so excited when I saw this back on the board because it's one of my favorite prompts. So I've chosen Cafe Con Liche by Emery Lee. I'm so excited to read this. It's one of my most anticipated releases of the year. It has soccer. It also would fit the prompt to read a neurodiverse character because the main character has ADHD or there is a character with ADHD in this and I'm excited to read it because I haven't read from Emery before so I could also use this book for new to you author. This is also another baking related book because it's about rival bakeries. For the choose your own category I have trans rep and that will work for the majority of my TBR. And to close out my Queer Lit Readathon TBR for poetry I'll be reading the poetry collection There Are Trans People Here. And that is it for my Queer Lit Readathon TBR. And last is the Queer Romance Readathon which is happening June 13th to the 20th just a couple of days after the Queer Lit Readathon. Here's my TBR. I'm gonna speed run it a little bit because I have been filming for a while. My main priority is Drag Me Up by Arm Virtues which completes a lot of challenges. I could probably get a bingo with this book alone. I also have Honey and Issues Guide to Fake Dating by Deba Jagadar. This completes sapphic romance, YA romance, and Asian author and I have been really wanting to read this one so I hope I can get around to it. Devon and Chris plan a wedding, also complete a few challenges including the Karina Doors line and a sapphic romance. For novella I actually have a book on my Kindle which is Get It Right by Sky. Kilian and this has a sapphic pan heroine who has chronic migraines and I have been wanting to get around to this one. It's also by an indie author so I would like to get around to it. And last I have American Dreamer which is going to be my free spot but also completes to read a book by a Latinx author. So I think that was everything for the Queer Romance Readathon and my June TBR. Let me know what you're going to be reading and participating in. I will be hosting Reading Sprints on the 15th here on my channel so that link will be down below if you want to set a reminder. And for the Queer Romance Readathon there will be Reading Sprints every day so feel free to go over and check everybody out who are also co-hosting and just let me know in the comments what you'll be reading and look forward to a fun month of content because I'm excited to just share everything with you. And if you're new here feel free to hit subscribe because like I said at the beginning I have so much content coming this month and you can become a patron if you're interested in getting a personalized book recommendation and just joining the community. Thank you for watching. I have to go and edit this video now. <laughs> Bye.